September with Hell High. This idea of yours to do all school September is turning out pretty well so far. Who knows about the rest of the month, but I the first know. two have been fucking great. Can't make any guarantees on that. Is Malibu High fucking awesome? Hell High? Pretty fucking awesome too. Yeah. It is a 1989 horror movie slash revenge film, but we'll get into all that yeah. shit. I don't want to go too deep into it at the beginning here, but it starts off with one of the greatest fucking beginnings of any movie I've ever seen because it made me want to do this movie. <laughs> It starts off with this little fucking girl in a stereotypical pink fucking little sure. girl dress right. running out of her house while her mom's yelling at her. Brooke, I don't want you running off. Don't you dare go to the swamp. You'll get a spanking. Don't go to the swamp or you'll get a spanking. Spanking, 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 spanking. And I'm like, I remember hearing that. So she walks to the swamp with Not her yet. doll for fucking ever. Yeah. I mean, for, for fucking ever. It's like the director was like, we're just going to follow her all <laughs> the way down this path. They're like, we're not going to cut at any point. No. Until she finally gets to like this little fucking shed and goes in with her doll. And there's her yeah, other doll must, there. Obviously must be her little playhouse type thing. You know? Yeah. Why, that, why it's 400,000 yards away from the house. Well, I think she just kind of like, you know, made that cruddy old shed her fucking oh, playhouse. Yeah. Oh, but anyway, see. she goes in and like starts playing house with the doll. Right. Until like one of the dolls makes a noise and then she gives it a spanking because this little girl got anger issues. Right. Come on, you naughty girl. See what you made me do? Just, See what you just, made me do? Just a tad bit. Well, it's obviously from like, you know, how she's being raised and everything. You know, you raise a little fucker, it's going to turn out to be a little <laughs> fucker when it gets older. Well, will just be a fucker fucker when it gets yeah, older. fucker fucker. So anyway, she hears a motorcycle coming, so she dips out the back. And then this couple just busts oh, the they, fuck they in. They blew back. They blew through that door like, Blah! Dude rips the fucking kick's fucking top off and yeah! just manhandles. I can't even think of a better word. Just manhandles her fucking boobs he, and stuff. He, he fucking, like, he was like, Jiggle daddy! Like, how that didn't hurt, for one, you know? But, like, yeah, he was all excited to get it. And she was like, you know... Well, she wasn't into it because... Here. <laughs> Come on, we haven't got all day! I don't like this place. What's there not to like? Come on, let's go. So he ends up picking up the doll, rips its fucking head off. Right. Little girl's like, <gasps> and then she just he just throws it. Then he gets up. Gets all pissed off. Yeah, goes to his bike and he's like, bitch! Fucking bitch! He's all pissed off because so, so, he went to pork in the fucking gator slaughterhouse. <laughs> and then, so they, they leave. Right. And little girl fills up a bucket with mud. Right. They come driving by. She throws said bucket of mud in their face. Screw it. They wreck the bike. I love it. He was like, me. They <laughs> fly through the air. <laughs> Flip over and land. And then we see where they landed was on these fence posts and they get impaled. Right. The little girl's like... And so the little girl comes over and that girl's like sort of like half It, it takes her a little bit to die. Like, right. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. And she was like... Ah. So she just takes off fucking running. And then, and then of course, it transitions. To, to 18 years later, where this yeah. little girl is now a science teacher in she, high school. She's full-grown psychopath. But, uh... <laughs> and she's just... She's, she's not really a strict, psychopath she's a strict, she's, just, she's a strict teacher. Right. She's yeah. obviously got issues that she's taking medication for. Well, you don't get to see that yet, because we have this gang of fucking shit kids. Kids being, yeah, right, you know, because yeah. all these movies, they're never kids. Now, yeah, and um, there are, of course, there's probably shit kids in every school. Well, she gives, like, first, she gives this little test. Is everyone ready for the test? No. No. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm yes. ready. All right, use only number two pencils, please. Why is it always a number two pencil? Because the lead is harder. No, it's harder. 
her off. And then she wants fucking Dick Dickens here. I don't think his first name's Dickens. This no. Dickens here to collect Dickens. to collect the papers. Mr. Dickens, you collect the papers. Let's see if you can do one thing right. So he fucking, you know. Want me to pick up these you papers? You want me to file them? Dickens, file those test papers. These test papers, man. File them. Did you say file him? File. Yes, ma'am. And he does this. <laughs> They're filed. So he fucking throws him and then he's like all up in her face and shit. And she slaps the living shit out of him. And she tagged him. Whack! That doesn't finish it. Not by a long shot. And she fucking, uh, she did that thing that Nate Diaz does, what they call it. And he smacks people. I can't remember the fuck they call it. It doesn't matter yeah, it because doesn't matter. the bell rings and... They leave. So the gang of kids are out in the hallway and they're bitching about Miss. Oh yeah, the teacher's name I've got to mention is Miss Brooks Storm. I'm gonna stick it to that bitch. Damn! I'm gonna nail her ass. Hey, what good would it do? Where's it gonna end? It ends with me. This town ain't big enough for the both of them. Man, Brooks. Sounds Storm. like she should be a fucking porn star, right. not a fucking science teacher. But Sounds whatever. Like she should be like Steve or, or a meteorologist. Partner in a movie. No, she should be a meteorologist, dude. You know, the weather today with Miss Brooks Storm. Brooks Storm. She lathers up them boobs. That's oh, later. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I just had so the, as they're bitching in the hallway, they notice the quarterback giving Skyler's boyfriend from Breaking Bad. John John a hard time so they go over to like save him we got a new recruit hey guys hey look man hey, I don't want to fight with you anymore because you're a great athlete and you're a real man by clipping his fucking sleeve to this girl's fucking skirt <laughs> and then provoking him to punch him I bet you really go for it when you come up behind the center on each and every play huh Football's for queers. Right, and then off comes the skirt. It was like, whoosh. and she fucking runs off, and that kind of ends that whole thing. But yeah, he's like, you know, your typical douche. Then you got the typical jock. You know, you take these these movies, and you have like this formula, that's that's in every all these movies of high school formula. You take it, yeah. And they just take their part of it, whatever they want to add, and then put that. In. Yeah, well, because they all have like character archetypes. And all of these. And then it, those kind of evolved in the 90s with, like, American Pie and all that shit. Yeah. Yeah, but whatever. That doesn't fucking matter. Because we're talking about these archetypes. <laughs> so, fucking John John, the nice guy archetype, is walking with the gang when the coach comes up. The coach archetype of this fucking right. movie comes Puffle up. Fish face. And gives fucking John John shit for being a coward for quitting the football team. Blah. Well, well, well. I'm surprised you'd even show your face around here. Nobody quits the team. You're a coward. I expect you to have your uniform in my office as soon as possible. The guy looks like a, is like his head's like a rotten potato with teeth. So blah blah fucking blah. Coach rotten potato teeth goes <laughs> into Miss Brooke Storm's classroom right. to ask her out to the football game and whatnot. Well, uh, <clears throat> I just thought I'd drop down and see if. Uh... <laughs> What? If you'd like to go to the game tomorrow, you could watch the boys play. It's good for school morale. No, no. And then after the game, uh, later, we could go out and uh, no. do anything you might like. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. It'd be fun. Uh, Sandy Hand told me that uh, you might like to get out. Yeah, and I, the guy's pretty smooth about it, you know. Miss whatever the fuck her face was said you wanted to get out. Sandy Hand. Sandy Miss Hand. Sandy Hand. Sandy Hand. Well, I don't know how she got that fucking name. She likes to jerk her off with hands. <laughs> with hands. With sand. <laughs> Sandy Hand. Sandy Hand. So anyway, blah blah. Suck you fucking ow, blah. Ow. We're now outside and the gang's talking about what they want to do. Queenie, she wants to fuck. So what do you want to do tonight? Mm, get laid. Aren't you ever satisfied? <laughs> Seeing Coach Heaton bulging down the hall really put me in the mood. <laughs> He's so dumb he'd never find his way in. Or out. <laughs> I'm not sure Heaton would know what to do with him. You couldn't bounce it or kick it. <laughs> You're so cute. And... Dickens wants to go to the swamp. That place gives me the creeps. You got two, two kids were killed down there. Are you scared? That legend is a myth. 
Nobody killed nobody 18 years ago. Not tonight. I gotta have dinner with my parents. <laughs> dinner? With your parents? Oh, come on. Let's cause a little trouble. You're dangerous. Maybe. Better not blow my future, Dickens. The future is now, man. And then blah, blah, fucky, blah. Dickens and John John, they follow Miss Brooke home. Dickens and John John. They follow her home. Right. And then, you know, creep up to her window to see her strip down. Quickly. I mean, she was in a hurry. Get in the shower and soap up them boobs. For like a straight minute. While getting off, I guess, while yeah. soaping those boobs. Yeah, she was digging on it. And I'm like, well, they're, they're like... <laughs> Yo, well, he cuts outside to Dickens and John John, like, talking and stuff. She could dig it lots more. Lots more. Baby, don't stop now. Don't stop now. Ah, no stop. Dickens is pulling out his little Dickens. <laughs> and then the phone rings and ruins it all. I know, and we we were upset by that. We're like, who fucking calls at this point? God damn it. So they interrupted all that good stuff. So I guess what they dipped out of there, huh? Everybody. Yeah. Of course, you know, like, uh, Dickens was more obsessed with her than than anything. You know, and like, his obsession over her really didn't quite make a whole lot of sense. Like, you know what I mean? Like, well, I don't know how he... He was obsessed because she, she became slapped his him. mortal enemy. Okay, one she, slap? <laughs> Yes. That's all it took. So whatever. You want to you want to ruin every aspect of her life? Whatever. We cut the fucking John John driving around in a car with two pipes and pipe holders right. on the dashboard. What the fuck? One, I've never seen a pipe holder that goes on your dashboard. And two, what do you need? Fucking two of them? So like, you know, when you're done smoking, okay. smoking your Captain Black or whatever the fuck the name of that pipe tobacco <laughs> was back in the day, Captain when you're done with Black. one, you can pull out the already loaded ones. You can fucking puff away on that too. Yeah, you didn't inhale that shit, obviously, because you fucking die. I don't understand the point of it. If you can't inhale it, what's the point of your? Uh, 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 okay, fine. Now you just have a smoke taste in your mouth all day, like. But so whatever, <laughs> right? He's still driving around, listening to a great, great fucking song. Here you go. music in this fucking movie is like a special kind of awful like right. you know it is it's 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 up there it's, it's hard to describe awful so he pulls up to queenie's house to pick her up for the <laughs> night he goes into her fucking bedroom where she's you know wearing her fucking leotard dill doing right. fucking stretches, stretches or, whatever. or whatever and he comes in and they have like you know exposition talk right hi hi come on in sit down we gonna have so much fun tonight? Yeah. Oh, where are your pants? They're gone. You feel okay? Yeah. Yeah. That's a nice room. Thanks. It's a mess. I've got to clean it up. My mother... Yeah, I know what you mean. Listen, mm -hmm. you know Dickens. What do you think of him? He's a creep. He's never in control. But he knows how to do one thing. Yeah. How to have a good time. You know, and it's it, it, most of it's just blah, blah, blah. You can avoid it if you want. Hey, weren't you like Mr. Football earlier this week? Yeah, I was. But that's all over now. Got tired of being hit. I was supposedly a coward. Oh, that's bullshit. Growing up, nothing lasts. A couple of days and your life is completely different. That's the way I want it. That's the way I got it. <laughs> But then there's one point at the very end, right before he leaves the room or something. Well, she wants, to, she asks him this. Turn around, I'm going to put on a different towel. So she wants, to, you know, him to turn around and then just fall on bloop. She's like, yeah, turn around and put on a different top. And then she's like, bleh, take a look at this. And he was like, bleh. And then it cuts <laughs> away, <laughs> and then it cuts back, and then it cuts away, yeah, well. and I think it cuts back again. So we get like, you know, three shots of 
above her boobs. Yeah, pretty bow, much. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> bow, bow, bow. And uh, instead of going bow, 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 John John uh, missed his chance because she just got up and was like, pew. Well, yeah, they, they take off to go go to the football game. And he was like, no, okay, can't we do, do another top swap? So some fucking shit happens at the football game that doesn't really matter up until the point where fucking Dickens goes and fucks with an injured football player. Right. Like, I mean, seriously, says some fucking... Like, kind of harsh fucking shit to him here. Hey, hot shot. Did you score? I fumbled. Well, now they're gonna take a knife and they're gonna open up your leg. You want me to give him a head start? You're sorry, Dickens. I want you to think about this knife when they put you under for that operation. What's great about it is that the EMT dudes come up and they see dude brandishing knife and doing insane shit in a threatening <laughs> way. It's a guy who's already busted up on the fucking gurdy. They don't and get nothing. They just pull up away. He just looks at him like this, like. You, are you done threatening me with your knife and everything? Okay, okay, we're gonna take him now. So blah blah fucking blah. We now get a football montage. <laughs> Which leads to a driving montage. leads to them driving onto the football field and intercepting a pass all to this fucking great fucking awful music. Yeah! And nobody even better than Eyelash with it. Like the football players, they're going full with it. Like he was already out on the field. What do you mean nobody fucking no, bad at eye, dude? Up Corey there was Beck still threw the ball. Well, he yeah. Still caught it. But dude, like, you know. the fucking reactions oh, after are the, fucking after the great, reactions after and they go on forever. Coach's like reactions so many reactions. Best. Coach Rotten Teeth was like fucking like. <laughs> dude, his reactions were great. So we cut to the gang sitting beside train tracks talking about what they're going to do for the night. And Dickens has a plan because he's a Dickens. Yeah. He has a plan that involves Miss Brooke Storm. Of course it does. This dude's obsessed with Brooke Storm. So what do you want to do tonight? I've been thinking about it. There's something in my head and I got to get it out. What is it? We got to go down to the swamp first. Man, I don't like that place. It's part of the plan. Plan? We have a plan? Tonight, I have the ultimate plan. This plan doesn't have anything to do with the storm, does it? We're gonna do this right. I mean, after seeing that shower scene, who wouldn't be? So blah, blah, fucking blah. The gang go to the swamp because Miss Brooke Storm lives in her... Basically, her parents, you know, the house where she grew up in. Right. Right, so she's out in the swamp and, you know, grading papers while the fucking gang is running around the swamp collecting swamp scum. And not just one scene of, like, you know, John John oh, here doing all it. Of them. No, yeah, we get to see Every, all of them collecting all scum. Everybody got a chance to get that shot in, you know. <laughs> And it's funny because a lot of them had gloves, you know, and they put gloves on after they were doing this, the swamp scum. Like, why don't you leave the gloves on when you're doing this? Uh, we're brought a cop. So, blah, blah, fucking blah. Miss fucking Brooke Storm. I said Miss Brooke Smith. That right. wouldn't make no, any no sense. No. 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 Miss Brooke Storm is still grading papers while the gang put on these pretty great masks. They're pretty uh, crazy. Yeah. They put on these great masks, climb up onto Miss Brooke Storm's fucking house. I say now, just go for it. All right? Now we know what we're doing? All right, let's go. And jump all the fuck around and freak her out. Right. <laughs> so they're jumping all around and she's... <laughs> <laughs> and she never puts two and two together like maybe I should step outside and be like hey not hey. yet but they start throwing said soap swamp 
scum. I want her windows and shit. It's easy to get soup scum. This one kind of confused. <laughs> like, yeah, I want her windows and shit. <laughs> Until she finally goes outside. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. As this is going on, she's having flashbacks of killing those two bikers. Right. You know, and, and she was like, woo, 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 like two weeks moment. Yeah. And then she like, goes outside. Goes outside, looks up, and, and they just dump pods right in her mouth. Scum all up in her fucking she, face. She was and like, mouth. Yeah. It went down <laughs> in, and uh, she was like, yeah. It was like, dude, why are you? And then she gets inside. Suddenly, doesn't have that much on her face. You know, it's kind of well. She does at times, and other times she don't. But right. yeah, she starts having like more fucking flashbacks and fucking <laughs> stuff of nom. You know, and then killing her own bikers. personal nom. Right, right, right. While she's all freaking out inside, it cuts back to the roof where Smiler is all up there fucking dancing. Whip it, whip it, good. Have to give it to you, Dickens. You sure came up with a good one tonight. Great idea. We're not out of here yet. What could go wrong? We've got it made. Watch out! Right. And falls his fat ass off the fucking roof. He just dropped. And they're like, are you okay? Hey! Are you hurt? Is he alright? I don't know. Are you alright? The dick. Answer me. I'm like, tell me little bitch probably knocked all the wind out of him. So, he's fine. So, blah, blah, fucking blah. They fuck with their boar by like pounding on her fucking house and rah. Dickens goes up, breaks her fucking window. And like reaches in at her like Michael yeah. Myers. That is until Miss Sandy Hand fucking shows up and they fucking take off. Right. So Miss Sandy Hand goes inside with Brooke Storm all fucked up, you know, green pea soup all over her and her, her, her. Happened to you. So happened. Come back. Are you all right? You were here. Who? Who? Oh, look, look, I didn't see anybody outside. Come on, come on, look. I'll go out and look, all right? All right? I'll take a look. What? 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 There's nobody out there now, all right? Okay. You'll notice, like, in the beginning of the movie, you understand this lady's dialogue. By the, by this point, yeah, never mind. Yeah, pretty fucking much. Because you ain't gonna hear nothing that she says. It's all... <laughs> so, Sandy Hand's a great friend, right? Gets her cleaned up, puts her in bed, and then does fucking this. Something I wish all my friends would do. Take this. It's gonna calm you down enough to get you through the night. Oh, don't worry. It's not gonna hurt you. It's just a quaalude. Kids take them all the time. Come on. Yes. Fucking basically forces her to take a fucking lewd. Yeah, she's like, here's a quaalude. All the kids are doing it. And you'd think, well, you know, maybe she needed that for, like, common nerves. But the, what makes it worse is fucking drugs her and dips. She's like, yeah, everything looks uh, copacetic here. I'm going to dip out. It's like, dude, her window was broke. She's fucking incoherent going, <laughs> this is your friend. And you're going, oh, yeah, I think everything's straight here. I'm going to dip. Yeah. So, I, and, all, and her checking of the area to make sure her friend oh, was yeah. safe was walking out the door and going, doop, doop. okay, yeah, everything's good here. Yeah, honestly, it really fucking was. Yeah. So, now... And drugs you, so you're, like, <laughs> paralyzed. <laughs> so now the fucking Miss Sandy Hand is fucking gone. Right. Dickens goes back into the fucking house, mounts hey, Miss... we're gonna do a little scare. And then some rape and pillaging. No rape. No rape. There was, honestly, thank God there was no rape in this movie. But some torture. Well, here. He mounts her. Assault. And fucking kisses her. While she's drugging him. And suddenly she looks like she's zombified. Uh, All sunken face and everything. Oh. So, he rips her fucking boobs out. Well, Sam, like they're under another thing. Right. But he asks her about why he hides her body. Why do you hide your body? Why are you boy? I know what's under there. <laughs> and then fucking Queenie comes in and catches them. Okay, you're thinking, oh, she's gonna... Uh, right, and Queenie's gonna do the right thing. She rips them off, climbs on top herself, and starts fucking yeah. with her basically the same way that she fucking Dickens was. Do you like it? you like it? Do you like it? Touch her. Yeah! And I'm like, what the fuck, 
we I had confidence in you that you were actually one of the good guys. You know, so now I don't feel so bad. And then, bow! Fucking John John and Smiler catch him, and John John, being the nice archetype, has a fucking problem with it. Kmart branded run. Which yeah. leads to some fucking bickering between John John and Dickens. I'm gonna finish this. Look, you've done enough. Let's get out of here while we still can. No. You're pushing our luck. She's had enough. I said I'm gonna finish it's this. It's no good, man. What do you owe her? There are limits. There's certain laws we can't break. This is real trouble, real jail, a future. You're just a coward. Maybe so. Which leads to fucking fighting. Right. Yeah, well, wow. like pushed down and rolling on the fucking hunt, ground. Hunt tussling, you know? We're gonna really like strike each other. Wow! While this fucking tussling is going on, Miss Brooke Storm fucking takes this opportunity to get the fuck up, bolt, and dive headfirst out the fucking window. Great. Like, see, I don't want to get punched in the face anymore, so I'd appreciate if anybody ever chose me on the street. Let's just hug tussle, because I, I kind of want to do anything else. We're just like, whoever stops hug tussle, that's who wins. I'm like, I'm a good game, man. <laughs> Me and one of us get fucked up. Is that like you know the flag I mean? football version well, I mean, of street you fighting? Get, you can't go home and you're like big black guy and somebody's like, oh, what'd you do? You know, like, then you go home and you're like, hmm. you know, I'm a little discomfort. So you want to have, you want to have hug fight club. <laughs> hug fight club. <laughs> yeah, nobody really gets there. You know, everybody's like, good game. Good game. So there's no like Jared Leto moment where like, you know, you pile this pretty blonde face in. And no, 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 we don't have that. His name was Robert Paulson. <laughs> Be in my kitchen, girl. Dude, the day was could you imagine? Open. Could you imagine having a <laughs> fucking goddamn fucking hug fight with meatloaf with bitch tits? <laughs> Dude, he'd win every fucking. He'd be like, "Get her!" He'd be to grab his titties and just go. Da, da, da. You can't do that. It's hug fighting. That's hug fighting. Oh yeah, I want hug fighting though. Yeah, so you get all. Okay, all right, I see this guy's the world champion of hug, hug fighting. So, where I left off was Miss Brooke Storms laying on the ground. Smiler goes out to check on her and says she's fucking dead. What was the verdict? She's dead! Well, think about it. Everybody in my sport will be able to <coughs> fucking retire with all their wits and will and everything. Nobody's going to be all old and dec Well, they might be. I don't know. You know, whatever they're else they're doing besides the sport. But, they, I mean, everybody would be able to retire. You know, they wouldn't be like, oh, he had, like, brain worms from getting hit in the head too many times, you know? So, with Miss Brooks Storm being dead, the gang takes off. Right? So they're driving down the road. Nobody here actually checked her vitals, huh? Well, no, Smiler checked on her and said she's dead. But anyway, they pull over, Lila. and then goddamn Dickens has an, an idea on how to, well, here. No, we gotta find somebody to stick the blame on. But somebody else spent time in jail. Who? The quarterback. Who else? <laughs> It'll never work. It will work. Look, the football hero, he's a loser. He's too stupid. We find something that belongs to the quarterback, we plant it in Miss Storm's house, so when the cops find it, they can stick the blame on him. I can't stand up to the quarterback. I'm not going. Oh, no, we're going to send the toughest son of a bitch that we got. It's you. No. It's John John. <laughs> no way, Dickens. Hey, you beat the shit out of me. So now, tough guy, we can find out just how good you really are. Yeah, when are they going to stop listening to Dickens? Well, I mean, it's kind of an... Okay, plan. They plan on framing the quarterback by like making John John go and steal something which they'll plant at Miss Dickens' scene of death. Sounds bulletproof to me. Now they just gotta hope that uh, uh, quarterback douche is where they hope he is. You know what I mean? Or where they think well, he is. Because he is. Because blah blah fucking blah. John John's in the parking lot. Lot. Lart. <laughs> <laughs> of this diner, and he's like creeping around to this amazingly awful fucking song. Like I said, special <laughs> brand of bad. Oh, and that was bad. <laughs> I was listening to that one. I was like, oh, God. He creeps over to the quarterback's car and steals his Letterman jacket. He had a David Letterman jacket? <laughs> yes. And then, wow. you know, the quarterback and his friend, oh, I forgot to mention, he fucking, um... Knifed him? <laughs> he fucking stabbed him? What did I miss? He knifed the tire. Oh, the tire. Okay, good. So, the quarterback and his friend get on his friend's bike and they chase after him. For fucking ever. <laughs> Slowly. Really? For fucking like, ever. It was like that scene 
when Linda Hamilton and fucking Reese, you know, her guy's real name, were like riding away from the Terminator, you know. Michael Bean. Because they had similar music, but they weren't trying to actually catch up to the <laughs> same car because they were about going about 45 and they just, like, like this. So far apart. But he kept intercutting between that and like shots of like Queenie Smiler and fucking Dick Dickens at the at Miss Brooks Storm's house. So many names. Oh, yeah. Miss Brooks Storm's house just waiting for John John to well, get back. And, and at random points they were showing they kept cutting to a scene where they showed like a, a frog hanging from the rear of the That doesn't fucking matter. And either does the stuff with the gang at Miss Brooks Storm's house because they just cut back to that a lot. They're just blah blah blahing about fucking worthless fucking bullshit. Well they kept going on, John John coming back. John John coming back. John John. Well there was thing that was worth bringing up is fucking Dickens just keeps eating like cold hot dogs. I'm worried, man. We a hot dog. Dude, he fucking slammed <laughs> cold hot dogs. And then he threw hot cold hot dogs. He threw it at Fat Face. No, my problem isn't your problem. What's the idea? Don't give me shit, Smiley, because I don't take it from you. I wasn't giving you shit. John John has to make it and get us out of this. It was all panicking the whole time. He was like, <laughs> you know. And then now I understand Lord of the Flies. You know, kill the pig, drink his blood. And then it cuts to Miss Brooke Storm waking up. Right. And but you now she's a zombie. Or fucking Smilers an idiot that just can't tell when a person's dead. I'm gonna vote more for Smilers an idiot. Or do Quaaludes like you know turn you into a uh, like half dead strong? Well, dude, he's fucking crazy. <laughs> I know, but crazy dude, doesn't he wasn't, like dude, you're what, super strong. And how is she super strong? So don't fucking don't. Well, we'll get to it. Then. But not really, because he's not that fucking strong. Really, whatever. So Queenie goes outside, right? Because he's all pissed off about the situation. He's gonna leave. Queenie, do you have to do that? Yes, I do. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Watch your ass. I'm going, man. Right. When she hears the cries of help from Miss Brooke Storm. Help me, please. I need help. So she walks her ass over there and finds Brooke Storm and has this little bit of dialogue. You're okay. This is great. I've got to tell the others. I'll get you to a hospital. I won't let that idiot Dickens hurt you anymore. It's a miracle. She's like, okay, you're good. All right, well, I'll go back and tell the other guys we're not gonna race. She turns anymore. around and fucking Brooke Storm beans her with a fucking rock. Right. No. Not just once. No, no. For fucking ever. She went down and was like, man, 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 man. No so, super strength in that because her head didn't even crack open or anything. I heard crunching. But it, you don't see it. It's not like fucking Bruce Willis fucking pounding the yellow bastard's fucking head into fucking. Dude, I don't care who you are. Fragments so smashing the, the head into your rock. That's all the momentum they need. Yeah, it's <laughs> I mean, the no, weight I, of that Exactly. Here. I'm saying, but you were saying she has superpowers when she does not. I didn't say super. It's not like she's. <laughs> you said she's super Woman. strong. Okay, so blah, blah, fucking blah. Let's go back. Back to fucking John John running from the bikers. Bike wrecks <laughs> and explodes. Bikers survive. Right. I know, yeah, but like, I. I, I, I but they're fine then. Yeah. Blah, so, blah, fucking blah. Dickens and fucking Smiler, Bicker. I'm going out to the road to see if I can see John John. Yeah, you do that. It'll do me good to get away from you. Who cares? I don't understand, like, what was the point of chasing after him if you weren't really gonna chase after him. So, blah, blah, fucking blah from that. And you're on a bike, what are you gonna do? Fucking John, yeah, for real. John John gets back to the house, and he hears Miss fucking Brooke Storm, you know, calling for help and whatnot. Come with me, something's happening. Hurry. So he goes, wanders off into the woods. Queenie, Queenie. Finds the head smashed Queenie. <laughs> Yeah, and at this point, Smiler Man for a Pig has said fucking John John six billion times. Yeah, that doesn't really matter because Brooke Storm comes out and fucking punches John John down a hill. Dude, and that's where I'm coming in with the, the strength. She probably hit him with a rock. She hooked him! She came with a rock! And Tyson hooked him. Blah. She I didn't see no rock. I just saw her tag him and he goes, Kabooch! All the way down a hill. So, blah, blah, 
fucking blob. Miss Brooke gets into her house, opens up a drawer. We're like, oh shit, she gonna grab a knife? She gonna grab this? No, she grabs a pencil and you're kinda like, what yeah, the fuck? Okay. Yeah, and then she grabbed the knife. The car's back. The car's back? Yeah, but no sign of John John. So where's John John? He's missing in action. He isn't around. What are they trying to pull? Come on, we gotta get out of here. It's gotta be the quarterback. He must have caught up with John John and made him bring him back here. Hey, you might be right. Let's get going. Just stop. Slow down a minute and think. You know, somebody scared John John away from the house. Yeah. Something's out there. Come on, let's get going, all right? Just slow down. I think I'm gonna be sick. Where's the bathroom? It's upstairs. But do whatever. Smiler's walking up the stairs. I mean, she's a teacher. And then gets that pencil shoved right in his fucking temple. Right, dude. Blah! That shit looked like that would hurt like balls. And he just down the fucking stairs. Yeah, and he's just like, Smiler, what are you doing? What are you being a daddy? And he just goes, blah. So fucking Dickens run over, she turns out the lights, and then scream fucking down the stairs. Oh, dude, it's like, it's, dude, anybody, I don't care who you are, you're gonna go. Oh, well, then she fucking stabs him. Yeah, like, ah! right in his chest. Because how do you react to that? You know, lights go off, and all of a sudden you're, you're like, ah! And then blah, blah, fucking blah, this Brooke Storm has Dickens tied up to, like, the fireplace. And she's flipping through an anatomy book, so right. she has a scalpel, she oh, goes she's, over. She's planning some shit. Yeah. Please. Please. It was John John's idea. I'm sorry. Please, Miss Storm. It was a game. It was a game, Miss Storm. But anyway, so he's on that wall crying like a woman now. He's all apologetic. He's like, I'm just kidding, Miss Brooks. I'm sorry! Please, Miss Storm, please, 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 please. You should have stayed dead in the swamp where I left you. Oh my god, the swamp legend. You. When John John comes in, and fucking Miss Brooke Storm charges at him with a spear. Dude, she fucking spider monkey to And he just goes, just count. She was like, hey yo! And he just goes, bleh. And yeah, pretty much. <laughs> he goes over and frees Dickens. Right? <laughs> Which, well, you know what? Before she had a chance to cut off his dickens. Uh, I just, can I just play this scene? Because it is kind of fucking amazing. Which one? This one. What the hell's going on, She's man? She's the one. She killed those teenagers to swamp. She's crazy. I gotta kill her. She's gotta die. Oh, wait, I gotta get out of here. Let's go. I gotta kill her. Dickens, no! No! <laughs> Dickens fucking dives through the oh, air. Oh shit, he's like, nah, I'm gonna kill her. Yeah, like that, dude, she fucking spears him, and he fucking got her throat. But like, I mean, he tried to reason with him for like half a second, but he was like, nah, dude, I mean, we could probably just go. We don't need to. But he was like, nah, I'm gonna kill her. Well, yeah. <laughs> Good plan. And then fucking John John's just standing there, like, looking at this whole fucking scene, like. But he, but he still had, like, he still threw he, the coat. He threw the Letterman jacket on top of Dickens' yeah. dead body. So now David Letterman's gonna go to jail. And he just fucking leaves. And then it cuts to fucking John John sitting up all night. Watching Static on his TV. And his mother's like, John, John, the dinner's way, you murderous piece of shit! John, turn off the television. It's a school day tomorrow. But then it cuts to him at school, and he's in class. But John, John didn't really actually kill anybody. He didn't really do anything. Really. No, Except not really. That jacket. Yeah. So anyway, he's sitting at school, and the cops pull up, so he's like, Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. He they, he move, man. I'd have been like, Hall pass! Hall they, pass! They come busting into the fucking classroom. You think, oh, John John's gonna fucking get it. But oh, no, yeah. the fucking framing works because they arrest the quarterback. I'm on a football. I'm the damn quarterback. What happened? What's going on? Class, I don't know what's going on. I'll try to find out, but please, settle down. Everybody, please be quiet. All eyes up front. Everybody, come on. Even though there's fucking fingerprints all over that house. And you got, uh, I don't know, you got fucking on top of her with a knife in her throat. You know, so how do you go, it must have been the quarterback. You know, let's get arrested. What the fuck? But anyway. 
After the cops take quarterback out, the teachers all try to get order back in the class. Everybody's attention. All eyes front. Please. Come on, everybody. All eyes to me. You. You. Eyes to me. And Dickens, not Dickens, fucking, no, no, um, Dickens. John John is staring out the window. She's getting more and more pissed. Yeah, because John John won't make fucking eye contact. And this is apparently very important to this lady. I'm talking to you. You. Wake up. Are you deaf? I said eyes to me. There's going to be big trouble if you don't turn your head in this direction. I said eyes to me. Well, he starts having flashbacks to death scenes that he wasn't even present for. Right? Yeah, it's like, dude, how are you even having these memories? You were in the world. While the screaming facility. like fucking crazy. <laughs> and the screaming goes on for fucking ever. <laughs> And it just goes through the hall, screaming. All the way. Outside, all the way to the screaming. School, outside. And then they just show a shot of the school for like 15 minutes, it felt like. And you're like, all right! And then credits. <laughs> yeah, dude. I fucking enjoyed this yeah. one. By the end, you were kind of like, oh, all right, hurry up. Yeah. yeah, for real, because the most interesting stuff happened within the last 16 minutes. Well, the, the first 10 minutes like and the last tusk, 16 minutes. You know? That's what it felt like, in a way. Not really. Because in Tusk, Kevin Smith blew his load too early. I'm sure he's used to that. <laughs> yeah, on that note, we got our bird has been another one of the worst <laughs> movies on YouTube. It's not a slight against Smith. I do it all the time. Blow your load early? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it happens. It yeah. does. You know, you're like, hee hee! I'm all excited. <laughs> he's all excited. You know what I mean? Like, he's like a kid in the candy shop. You get him all revved up, you know, give him a little balloon, you know, soft pretzel, and all of a sudden he's like, ready to go. You know, so why didn't your little contact, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, what are you going to do? I don't know. I, I, Nothing. Yeah. It's better that than shooting dust. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Still got ammo left. <laughs> but what are you going to use that ammo for? I have nothing, nothing now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Enough talking about Spooge. Yeah. You, yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let's talk about Spooch. Uh, uh, Let's talk about Spooch, baby. <laughs> Let's talk about everything but Slimy. Oh, well, you didn't complain about your ass. No. No hashtag bird's ass pillow. <laughs> hashtag bird's ass pillow. Hey, John John, I hear you quit being a football hero. In fact, I hear you're kind of a coward. Dickens, what do you want? Well, they say you're a coward. And they say that I'm a crazy son of a bitch, no good for nothing. Yeah? So what's the point? Well, we have a good time. And we're all rejects from this place. <laughs> all they try and do at this school is mold us into exactly everything that we hate. <laughs> I don't know, Dickens. I heard some pretty strange things about you. You look what they say about you. Look, we have a good time. Prove it to those jerk-off football players that you don't need their kind. Why not? What have I got to lose? Nothing. <laughs>